good day everyone my name is storm eater of children and welcome back to another steam and hot video today i will break down how a normal day in the cavernous rock catacomb as google tells me aka the deep stone crypt goes for me if you are thinking to yourself this must be a great guide video you are very wrong. If I would have to describe how bad I am at making guide videos, I would describe it with three simple words, those being terrible, dreadful, and horse sh So before any of you turn into dried skeletons awaiting the start of this video, let's just get into it. We started our adventure in orbit. My team was made up of LFG, so in short, I had no idea who these people were. After a long and thrilling loading screen, we finally got into the raid. Yay. After massacring a couple hundred fallen, the bunker doors opened. P.S. This video was filmed a couple days after the frostbite glitch patch. But forget that, because the Destiny community said f*** you Bungie and found a new one. Now Bungie knows not to screw with the Destiny community and balance is restored again. We drove to the bunker doors and I showed some people how to do the glitch since it was pretty new. I also failed to mention we had a person which never did this raid before so I already knew this was going to be great. After I flawlessly miss my jump and bump into the cliff I fall to my death and not only do I embarrass myself but I also lose all respect for my fire team as Lord Kudos says isn't he the guy who is supposed to be teaching. As I make it to the end, with rage and malicious intent coursing through my body, I kill the two fallen Briggs by myself. Moments later, Pei makes it as well and we both play our instruments whilst we wait for our fire team struggling to get past the second bubble. Hashtag carried. We finally make it to security, and like the nice person I am, I grab operator, pull my team, and then proceed to commit insert joke here because I'm out of ideas. Nailed it. In our first attempt, In the Chaos asks me if I can teach him the encounters with a capital S. Forgetting that we even had a person who didn't know what he was doing, I die inside a little and then agree because I'm not an a-hole. Fast forward a few minutes and I'm finally done explaining. Me doing my job as an operator, I go to the light side just to see that Chaos has no f***ing idea what he's doing. I run out of time and my team gets a free serving of burned titan. After, I spectate Chaos and j Look at this. Adorable. Our second attempt, we actually make it to damage phase. I call out all the fuses like a good operator, but we miss two. Lord Kudos dies on light, and now our only hope is chaos. Oh no. He manages to scan correctly, but is too slow to pass over the scanner, and I'm met with the same fate. Chaos dies on light as well, and now we can't get operator. Amazing. Several attempts later. After many attempts and eternal suffering, we finally beat security and I'm rewarded 5 spoils. After which I went to grab a bottle of bleach and proceed to drink it. After we reach a tracks, I'm once again reminded to teach the encounter, which my response to that question is how much money will you pay me? Which the chaos responds with zero. Fair enough. 15 minutes later, I finally explain Atrax with the last remaining brain cells I have, if I had any in the first place. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Two minutes into the encounter, pay like the god he is dies to Shanks. I sigh with disappointment and revive him. Hashtag carry 2.0. Literally not even 40 seconds later, he dies again. At this point, I questioned if any of these people even have 5 clears. To my surprise, at this time, Pei had 9. At this moment, you can feel the fear emanating from my body as scanner takes 3-5 to five business days to be passed over. I pick it up and RNGesus decides not today and chooses the far right Atrax. I make it to Atrax with confidence that Ifsi can join in on the damage phase before before he wipes us. But my confidence is soon shattered when Atrax orb turns red. I'm blaming FC. Honestly, I don't even know what happened here. My brain must have short-circuited the boredom. I'm just going to skip all the rest of the attempts because I don't want this video to be two hours long. At the end, everybody leaves, so I do as well and take a one hour break. 
After one hour, I found a new group, the team which I will name DOTC, which stands for Dumbasses of the Century, consisted of me, Dread, Scheltz, Void, Young, and Cole. We get the final stand, Scanner calls out the right A tracks, and we wipe him from the game's code. We reach space. I go in front because, well, content. Scheltz dies first, and I say what every kid that thinks they're funny says. There goes our flawless. Karma comes around and I miss this jump by one millimeter. We make it to the end and clear out the Briggs. Deja vu, the same thing happens like at the Sparrow section. We party down and wait for the rest of our team to learn how to press the A button. After 10 minutes of people failing basic movement, we proceed to the next encounter. <laughs> We make it to Tanix Phase 1, also known as the literal easiest raid encounter ever. This didn't last long. I grab Operator and obviously do my job. Mysteriously, Young Kid Kid, nice name by the way, left. Now I could probably make up some reason why he left, but I'm too lazy to write this script for another 20 minutes, so I'll just put it at hashtag LFG stuff. We run into some small but dangerous pickles like Operator dying in Suppressor not suppressing, but in the end, we won attempt it, which is nothing new, but it's nice to see after I did Atrax for 1 hour and 30 minutes. We crash Papa Clovis' space station, Red War flashbacks, and I get spoils onto the next encounter. <laughs> We reach Tanix the Abomination, with confidence we will complete this in one or two attempts. But I forgot one very important factor of this adventure. This is an LFG. Whilst someone was making an LFG, I messed around with the dread a bit. STOP! What's going on? Now, this guy that just joined, called Morgs, was a huge part of this encounter. Same with Dread. I will get to why that is later. For now, we could actually start the boss. I had Suppressor. Wonderful. We knocked down all four balls, and the PSA to people who don't do four ball strat, stop smoking crack. After, I suppressed so fast that Tanex couldn't even pop his second detain. I pop first bubble and we start damage. Don't make fun of me here, I still haven't mastered quick swap. It's hard on a controller, okay? I get pushed into the zappy field and die, resulting in a little bit of salt. Here is our second problem, Shelts. Now in the full video, he disconnects six times. Yeah. So now, we can barely do four ball. Someone doesn't pick up the fourth ball and it results in a wipe. This is the moment Morgs is important to the story. I wait for second detain to suppress, as Dread told me, and Morgs yells at me to suppress, so I do. Around this time, my two teammates Dread and Morgs do the absolute worst in an LFG. Start arguing. This caused countless wipes and the concentration for all players. And what were they arguing about, you may ask? Let me tell you. The reason they were arguing is because Dread was using a wave splitter. To sum it all up, chaos. Everyone left at the end except me and Dread, and soon I said goodbye and left as well. And that's the end of our tale. I know it's not satisfying, but hey, it's just a normal day in the Deepstone Crypt. I've been writing this script for a while now, and probably editing for a while now as well. I don't know, I can't see into the future. But I want to thank you all for watching whoever made it this far. This is my 101st video, so I put a lot of effort into this. If you enjoyed, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in a week or two. Have a great day.